Hey guys, Zar here. Good morning to you. Happy Tuesday, Jan 30th. Can't believe it's almost February. Watching the three sisters here on the open. We're opening about 10 seconds here. This is a one minute chart, guys. NASDAQ on the uh, left hand side, S&P in the middle, Dow on the right. One minute chart, VWAP in the middle, and two and a half standard deviations. There's the opening candle on the one minute chart. Take you over to the power grid here. This is the NASDAQ, guys. 30 minute chart in the bottom left hand side, daily in the top left. And then a one minute chart here with a one minute open range indicator forming right now. You see those little lines? And uh, we'll be watching that. Let me just take off this EMA set here from the 30 minute chart to keep it nice and clean. Just wanna watch the zones here, you see that? We've broken down into this clean traffic range. Let's see if we can stay right now. We're pushing up. Let's take a look at the three sisters again. There's the one minute on the NASDAQ. Here it is on the S&P. And there's the range on the Dow. I'll be putting you on pause, guys, and cutting out dead air, sideways grinding action, non-teaching moments, things of that nature. And to keep this video nice and tight, I'll bring you back if and when we see anything here of interest. And we'll take it from there. I'm not looking to trade. I'm here to make money. And if that means no trading, I'm okay with that too. All right, guys, we're back. And I'm looking at a short here on the NASDAQ. Watching closely right here. Stop above this pivot inside of the open range. Here we go. Bear with me for one moment. And I'm in, guys. Short the NASDAQ. First trade of the day. Finally, it is, what, 10.53? Okay, it's not that late. It just feels late, I think, because uh, I've been up so long. I've been up since about mm, just before 3 o'clock this morning. 3 a.m., which is actually fairly typical for me. I know that might sound crazy to some, but it is what I tend to do. After many years of trading both London and New York, it's hard for me to... Uh, or it's been a bit of a challenge to shift my sleep schedule back to what would be considered normal for someone in the New York uh, time zone. Eastern Standard Time. All right, so here we go, guys. I'll put you on pause. Well, let me, maybe I should explain this trade a little bit. It's a trend continuation trade. Let me, I'm going to throw on a um, set of BMAs here. All right, 21 and 9. You'll see the 9 below 21 and rounding over. Made a rally attempt here on the open, right? Right there. Let me show it to you on the two minute chart. Is that rally attempt failed back into the open range? I was waiting for news to come out at 10 o'clock. There's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock news disappointed, I guess, and then uh, dropped down. This kind of grinding rally back up, never been able to get through at the top of the open range, and now failing dip back down below with these EMAs on the uh, two minute chart rounding over crossing below both the EMAs and then the nine crossing below the 21. We had this little bit of a pullback and now breaking back. Not quite the session lows, we're about to, but certainly looking like it wants to come down here again and retest this wick bottom from the news reaction. This was a spike down, if you will, on the uh, news reaction. The market was rethinking that, thinking, oh, we went, we went too far too fast, but said, no, Let's capitulate here. I think we had the right idea and potentially going to make a move down here. No guarantees of that for sure. I'll bring you back, guys. We'll talk more about this. And target one has been hit. And so the one R all or nothing trader has left the game with full profitability. And of course, the two R move stop to break even has now moved their stop to break even just like this because we hit one R. So they will either get two R or they'll get break even and nothing in between. So that's the primary target, guys. And now we'll sit and wait and see if the one and a half and the two R traders can also get their full profits as well. As you can see, I've been sitting in this trade for quite a long time, entered at around 1050, 1052 or so. It is now 1231. We are in the twilight zone. 
as we've been grinding around here uh, quite a lot. What's been interesting about this move, and I sent this note to my group uh, just to let, kind of let them know as a thought experiment, is that while this was grinding sideways and incapable or unable to break back into and stay in the opening range, the Dow was rallying powerfully. See this over here? So notice that we were uh, in here, entered around here on the um, on the left-hand side here in the NASDAQ, right? Now I'm gonna put a cursor uh, across here, pardon me, on here so you can see what, where that is on the other charts, right? So right here is where I entered. Look what happened afterwards over here on the Dow. The Dow, the S&P too, but the Dow in particular, blasted through to, and stayed really above two and a half standard deviations for a very powerful move while the NASDAQ couldn't even get back to the bottom end of the opening range. It's a one minute open range. And the question I asked my group was, now what happens in a situation like this where we see a very strong divergence? NASDAQ grinding and selling down while the Dow was rallying very strongly. What happens if the Dow and the S&P, but the Dow rolls, rounds over and fails to continue to go higher? double, triple, top, for instance, here in the breakdown, what happens to the NASDAQ? Does it all of a sudden do the opposite and go through the roof? Or does it get hammered or get crushed under the weight of these two, Dow in particular, but Dow and S&P pulling back down? And uh, what we've been able to see, of course, is that um, it pulled down, it weakened even more. Now, there's no guarantee that we're going to move all the way down here to one and a half and two R on this trade, but I'm going to stay in Wait and see, aren't we? And of course, here we are in a clean traffic zone. This was that rally yesterday and the big gladiator candle that came out at 3 p.m. yesterday on the Treasury News. I'll put you back on pause and we'll wait to see this play out. And target two has been hit. So the one and a half hour all or nothing trader has left the game with full profitability as well. It's been a bit of a grind here, guys. Trend continuation trade, of course. I shouldn't say, of course, it's a trend continuation trade. This is a uh, move uh, that, of course, started in Asia and Europe. Let me just put the uh, EMAs on here so we can see this very clearly right here. You see this rounding over, uh, having uh, created a, a new zone here overnight, really, when the, the uh, markets were closed and uh, futures were open. But, of course, the Asian market only opens here at 8 p.m. last night, flat dropping down, pulling back up, dropping down, crossing here. And this is where we begin impulse, a little kind of a corrective and then impulse down with the uh, the weight of the other sisters, as I showed you earlier, rounding over on that. Let's take a quick look at them now. There we go. And now the uh, the uh, sell off has happened in earnest on the S&P, still holding up here on the Dow, interestingly enough seeking new highs in fact and so we still see this weakness continuing in the nasdaq it just shows you how strong uh, that dow really is and or how weak the nasdaq is in the face of this but uh, we'll be right back guys and we'll, we'll follow this through i don't know if we're going to get all the way down here doesn't look like it but we'll see and there it is 2r it took for over five hours for that trade to play out i'm going to put you on pause and bring back the uh, results of the day here we go and there it is, guys. So all four models were fully profitable. Even the uh, 2R move stopped to break even at 1R. We never came all the way back. We came fairly close. Not really. About a quarter of an hour there. Long trade, guys. Again, almost uh, over five-hour trade. One of the longest I've had in many, many, many months. Day trade, of course. Not uh, not including um, swings and, and position trades. But thank you for being here, guys. I appreciate you. It's been a long, tiring day. I know for many of you, too, I get the DMs. Um, but I uh, appreciate your support. Thanks for staying high in the comments and for clicking that like button. Have an amazing night. We'll talk to you soon.